Hello there, everybody. How's it going? I am Boy, and I'm going to play Amir Do League Legends Comedy today. And today, I am playing as Talon in the mid lane, Talon, which, whichever you prefer. And I'm also very curious as to why we have a black circle of the death there. But you know what? That's probably normal. Let's look at the teams here. We have uh, Rengar, Jungle, Rumble Top, Talon Mid, Janus Support, Miss Fortune AD Carry. They have Riven Top, Leeson Jungle, Zed Mid, Vanity Carry, Brand Support. So it being a few things to start off here. Uh, I do not have Thunderlord's Decree. Why? Why would? Why don't I have Thunderlord's Decree? It's the best mastery. Well, it's pretty much because it says the third attack, and I mean, I can still see it being good on Talon, because of course, you know, you go on someone, you E like Ult Key Rake, that's three attacks that will proc Thunderlord's Decree. But I found that this thing could potentially provide a lot more, you know, just mobility and potential, because of course, your Talon, you're pretty much always going to do 30%, so you're pretty much always going to get that movement speed, at least when you get items. And that can just help you assassinate someone and get out of the situation that much quicker. So that's my justification for it. I mean, obviously this is meant for assassins, but even most assassins, like, eh. Like Rengar, Talon, and like maybe Zed and Fizz, like, it only applies for a few champions, but I think Talon's one of those. I feel like there's something else I was going to say as well, but, oh yeah, Zed. Um, I've always thought Zed against Talon to be a bit of an odd matchup. Pretty much if either of them gets ahead, like, at all, the other one's usually not going to have a very good chance to live. So, that was pretty bad to start off with, but that's okay. A little, little rusty, obviously, so, you know, don't expect my CS to be great and whatnot. But I have to hope this guy isn't a master at Zed. It's pretty much what I have to hope. Because if Zed's really good, he can kind of juke, juke out the talent and make it so he misses his rake. Because of course the rake, it goes and then and then that's it. Um. Okay, Rengar seems like he's fine. He was definitely having a little bit of an issue with Lee Sin there, but thankfully it looks like Lee Sin is going to back out off now, which is good. But basically, imagine. I mean, you probably know what I'm talking about. But if like if I e in on Zed. He can potentially just like shadow away and make it so my rake is pretty much just juked out. So that's going to be the main issue. He can potentially do the same with my ultimate if he just goes far enough. But that can potentially do it with any champion which is flash. So, And I mean usually it doesn't work out that well just because my E provides the slow. But we'll see. Since I'm Talon I'm pretty much not going to be doing any aggressive moves for a, quite a while here. Some people think it's a good idea to go aggressive early as Talon. And on certain champion matchups you can. Zed, if he uses his shadow, then I th then I, then I will. But just his shuriken, like Talon's rake damage is just so low in the early game that I just don't think it's that good of an idea. Because of course Zed's Zed's shuriken damage isn't really that much unless it hits me directly and doesn't go through minions. So I don't need to worry about that. I'm just gonna kind of sit here in the lane, and that should be fine. We will be having the mains push up a little bit here, and I do not want to be very far up because Lee Sin Gang would be very detrimental to me because as much as I would like to, I cannot use my E to war jump, which is pretty bad. Rumble is having a pretty hard time against Riven, which is, you know, to, to be expected, generally. Sometimes it's not the case. Oh, I was going to say Zed should have gone in there, and then I realized there's a bunch of minions on me, so that was actually a good call just to do that harassment and then uh, be done with it. Got one minion, that's fine. He should miss some of these, at least if I apply some pressure. I'm taking a risk here because I don't know where Lee Sin is, but I think I'm fine. It's actually probably a good time for me to ward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ward right over here. That way I'll know if he enters that bush and I'll know if he enters, if he enters that bush. Because with Lee Sin, you want to you know, ward both areas. Because you don't know where he's going to show up. You know, he can show up you know, from your pants. And you don't want a blind man to show up from your pants. That's just not cool. I, mean, I don't think a blind man shooting sonic waves of death is good anywhere, but unless he's on your side, which he is not on our side. On our side, we have a cat, which cats are great and all. I don't have anything against cats, but I'm just saying, you know, one has opposable thumbs, one doesn't. You know, you got you got to look at the advantages here. And Zed doing some pretty decent harassing, sort of harassing here. I would go in on him right now, but sadly my... Uh, there's a lot of minions there, so I do not want to do anything in the sort. If I hit sick before him, I probably will try to go all in. Uh, this is a bit of a finicky situation. I think I can get that. I can. All right, I was able to get all those. That's good. I will pock one potion. I probably would have gotten a mana potion as well if they had not gotten rid of them. And looks 
looks like there will probably be a death in the bottom lane. Oh, no, the exhaust man, so they did live. That is very good. Rengar is generally not going to be ganking in the early game, so that's fine. If we can get any rakes off, that's ideal. But of course, at the end of the day, I can only rake so many times before I run out of mana, because Towns and Energy are a mana user, and that's not something anyone's happy about. Oh, I think I, I think I actually did hit him with both of those, which is ideal. Uh, my health is looking... I need to make sure my health is constantly at full for if he hits 6 first. So we really got to be careful there. And again, I, do, I still really wish I could... I, I actually probably should have gotten Total Biscuits in my Masteries instead. That would have been ideal. Because just the Talon actually has pretty serious mana problems. As much as it may not seem like it. And we are definitely going to go all in here and try to... Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Well, it's unlikely I'll live, especially since he has vision on me. So, what am I going to try to do here? Okay, I think we're just going to try a recall here. It's a gamble, but he may think I'm going over there instead. I'm alive. Oh, okay. Yeah, he pretty much did juke me out there. So... Props to Zed for that one. I really want Serrated Dirk, but I want to get Hydra first because that movement speed is just very important. And get boots for some mobility, and that will be that. Okay, <laughs> very nearly died there. I almost got a kill as well, but that's pretty much the gist of what I thought was gonna thought my first encounter with Zed was gonna be like. It probably would have gone better if Lisa wasn't there, obviously. But hey, the fact that I lived it all, I think is ideal. I think it's perfectly reasonable. But, you know, what I think doesn't matter. It's what, it's what you think. It's what it's what the world thinks. What's our CS looking like? 34, 35. Don't know how good that is in the grand scheme of things. It's probably, it probably should be, like, more like 50 or 60. But, you know, I'm just a filthy casual. So, uh, don't 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 judge me for my, you know, not-so-ideal plays. Because uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a master. Oh, something's going on up there. Doesn't look like it's going to really result in anything. But it, it looked like it could have been cool. And that's what matters. Okay. Should probably paint that Zed as MIA. His ult shouldn't be up for a decent amount of time, so I'm probably just going to take this time to get some good damage off on the turret. Just slowly. Where is he? Why is my health bar flashing? <laughs> I mean, I know that's because of the minions, but I feel like it should, it's supposed to be green. I'm just saying that it seems a bit wild. Is he getting his blue right now? Zed, we... I'm concerned. I miss, I miss your presence, and I, I would really appreciate it if you show up again. Because it would make all of us much more happy. Well, that's a decent amount of damage off the turret. It'd be really weird if he just went AF. Is he bottom? No, it didn't look like it. Part of me wants to roam, but at the same time, I could I could potentially just get a turret here. So I'm probably just gonna try to go for that. As we await where the masked man of death has shown himself. I would I guess I'll keep painting me up. He might still be showing up. My comedy is all over the place because I don't know where this man is. Oh, Rumble is gonna... Okay, I'm gonna run away. I was not paying attention, so... Yeah, he can tell he wanted to go in there. I don't know what the heck took him so long, but... Because of the fact that was my reaction was so delayed there, I had to ult to live, so... That was my fault. Should have been a bit more vigilant, but... What are you gonna do, I suppose? And since I can't really... Since I can't buy the pickaxe, I guess I'll just go the Moby Boots n next. In terms of other boots I can get, I mean, maybe Ninja Tab, I, they do have a lot of AD, but at the end of the day, if I'm building, Talon's one of the champions where, even if you're behind, you should still go full AD. Because you actually, it, pretty much once you get your Hydra, even if you're behind in the lane, you still can start doing things once you get that Hydra, so that's uh, pretty much what we have to rely on. I'm going to E on that to make sure I can get that minion, key that to make sure I can get it. There we go, Magical CSing strats. I would hope Rengar lets me get blue, because of course he doesn't need it. As much as it may not seem like it, Talon does actually need blue. Well, not needs needs it, but he uses it very well, just like a lot of other mages. Pretty much, it makes it makes it so he can use his Rake Harass. Once once he once he has it, has it leveled up, it actually does good damage. So hopefully that will be a thing that can happen. I do need to be careful because I do not know where Lee Sin is, and I also don't have my ultimate. Okay, no, no, we know where Lee Sin is. That's good. More Rake Harass. See, that's about half his health right now. And if I went in on him, he would probably die. But there is also a Lee Sin. We'll go and use our ultimate there and... Ah! Oh, 
I should be okay. Rumble needs to finish them off. Okay, got one of them. I mean, one of them, of course. Okay, that's good enough. I didn't. Th I forgot that. Uh. Oh God. Rumble, what are you doing? <laughs> Pay attention to the map. Ah. Oh. Rumble, what are you doing? That is what you call not looking at the mini map. Well, that's a shame. It was fine until Rumble kind of did very questionable decisions, but when I do, I suppose, and I'm very disappointed about the items that I cannot acquire, but that's okay. I really didn't want her to kill me, if you were wondering. I know, so you, you should have gone back when you, on the, when she was approaching you, but I'm going to assume she, he, just, he just didn't know. Or he did know and he thought I was going to die anyway, but he should have just left. But that, that it's, just, it's fine, it's fine, it's the of the past. It's just disappointing because it was a 1-1 and now it isn't, but... What are you going to do? Aside from take damage from this flippin' uh, rumble. Riven fed by my hand, sorry team. I, w I mean, you are like most of our deaths, but at the end of the day... Oh, he is, uh... Really, I'm about giving me this blue buff. That is exactly what I like to hear. So we will work on accomplishing this task and use the rake and that should be the blue buff for me and we'll go in you know both both get a small it's a small meeting because that seems like the good choice so let's see zero one one looks like zed was trying to show up to take the blue because it was pretty obvious that I was going there 68 cs so i mean i'm ambi him a decent amount of cs that's about it though so could be better well i mean it could always be better but you know, let's not get into that I should probably, since I have Uba, I should probably rake to try to get this lane pushing a little bit more so I can potentially roam. Because, especially since it looks like some things are going on the bottom lane. So I'm making it a bit obvious that I'm roaming here. But, you know, it looks like it very well may still be a good thing. We have Lee Sin doing some stuff and we will try to get a kill here. And, nope, there's the heal. Uh, she's trying to get the third proc. Oh, she did get it. Nope. Oh wait, maybe? Oh, I, it, I did actually get the kill there. And the Equalizer will not do enough to kill the Lee Sin. Oh, he barely lived. Alright. I actually should have flashed there because Vayne probably wouldn't have been able to kill me there. But I wasn't expecting to Condemn, which is strange what but did it. I've always had a bad habit of just not using Flash when I should. It's like, I should save Flash. And it's like, no, I, I probably shouldn't save Flash. That's actually a bad idea. And I'm also questioning what Rumble's building. I can get is that that's where I lies, right? Because that requires Rob. Yeah, that requires Rob. Even still, I'm like, wait, it, it requires blasting one though. Rengar is apparently not super strong at this particular moment in time. Um, I would like him to just get this kill, but you know what? It's taking too long. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rumble, but you know, there are times when politeness just needs to not take over. Plus I could really use a kill. Well, the shutdown kill is nice, I believe. Yeah, that, was that shutdown? Uh, it was shutdown. It's a whopping, only whopping 150 gold, which is not exactly much, but, you know, that's fine. Hydra, uh, Tiamat proc should help a lot there. And I am aware that Tiamat does not have the cleave effect all the time now. It makes it a lot more, you know, noticeable to want to actually get the Hydra. Okay, are they aware that I'm gone? Um, ah, the Lee Sin. That was such a good opportunity. I still can potentially do something. Oh, there's a Zed as well. There is definitely a Zed. This is a very finicky situation we find ourselves in. Janet is not going to get herself caught. I could probably kill this man here. Oh, the exhaust. That was a very well-timed exhaust. Oh, but he will take a turret shot and die anyway. That's convenient. I'm pretty happy about it. And I would assume Rengar would stop the Riven from gaining the turret, but instead he is continuing to kill the Raptors. Which I understand you want to- I understand! You want, always want to finish your campus of all possible, but there are times in life where you have to, you know, think about um, the more important things. And I guess I'm just going to do a really big loop here because they are going to be chilling on the turret. So don't be too afraid, guys. We definitely don't want this turret to die if at all possible. And there is the vein. And there's the vein ultimate. I could have gone in there, but I'm not exactly too keen on misfortune doing a whole lot considering she doesn't have her ultimate. And of course, I'm very squishy. I don't have my ultimate either, which makes my strength a lot less apparent. 
Okay, I could probably go back to mid now. I would really like to get the mid turn if at all possible. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. Top is definitely suffering a lot, which... As, I mean, really, we just don't want the next tier of turrets to die. That's the main concern. I would like to tell you why I warded there when Jan literally just warded it. But, you know, I wouldn't have an answer for you. So we would just not have a good conversation. We would get mad at each other. And that's why the conversation is going to continue, okay? It's one-way conversation between me and, and you. I see an, a ribbon going towards the rumble on the mini map. Does not look like there will be a death because of it. And we will ult there, and that will be the end of that. Make sure we actually get the ult damage off. And I will flash there. Not taking any chances. I think I'm going to have to stay. How's Rumble doing? He's two levels behind the Riven. That's rough. Yes, hello, Zed. I'm not leaving. I, my turret's very low, and I do not want to die. Ugh. Really disappointed that actually hit me. As long as we don't let the E hit us. I mean, he can't dive us. So we have that going for us, but... I also have no idea where Riven is. And Riven died... Yeah. I had a feeling there'd be a Riven nearby. We should probably ward there. Without my ultimate, I am very, very prone to getting dove. So we'll go ahead and use a team at proc there. And that should give me a clear to go back. I would really like to go back and get my Hydra. So... Yeah, this is this is probably the best opportunity I have to actually go back. So we'll get the Hydra, and now we'll work on getting Serrated Dork, because that effect is... I mean, the effect is, like, almost made for Talon. After using the ability, your E, namely, your next basic attack does is 15 plus damage. Not much, but... Every little bit counts, and that's all that matters. I would like to help you, Rengar, but sadly I am not in a position to do so. Rengar actually hasn't died yet. He just isn't really doing a whole lot. So that appears to be a problem, and he did ult there, but... Uh, he's trying to go for it. Eh, it was a bit risky. Oh, well. You know, sometimes you can't get all the blue buffs. I don't even know what Rengar... I don't even think Rengar's been ganking really, which is probably why he's behind on levels. I mean, he, he hasn't died, which is good. But he also just doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. And I'm still very concerned to continue pushing. I'm, I'm concerned to roam because then my mid turret will probably die. I'm concerned to continue pushing because Riven and Lee Sin are constantly in my lane, which is a bit disappointing. Even Vayne, I'm, I'm scared of showing up. Pretty much all lanes are in a not-so-ideal position. I mean, in terms of score, I actually have second most deaths, funnily enough, but as Talon, you know, you almost have to expect that a lot of the time. Because, you know, a lot of the times when you go in, you, you're probably going to die as well, so that's a bit of an issue. That was really, really bad. I took a lot of damage there. Hopefully my lifesteal can kind of bring me back here. Hmm. Jeez, that did do a lot of damage. If I can avoid, an, if he hits me with another group of shurikens, I'm very dead. So we need to be very concerned. Okay, that was good. Do I want to go in there is the question. I think so. And then we'll do that and use the Hydra proc. And that will let me get the kill. All right. His, all his shadows were down. Took the opportunity to go in. And it was beneficial. And I'm actually, everyone is in the bottom lane. So I'm actually going to take this opportunity to kill the mid turret. Destroy the mid turret. And watch as Riven gets a bunch of kills. Yeah, that's very bad. The Riven teleport was very successful by the looks of it. Alright, that'll be bad. Zed's gonna be up relatively soon. Oh, she's gonna live. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to roam down there quick enough. Unless they actually stayed, but it, it seemed unlikely they were going to. Oh, that's, that's very frustrating. So, Lee Sin and... Riven are the most fed. The good news is Lee Sin's building damage by the looks of it. The bad news is he's fed at all. But, we'll, you know, we'll see how things go. I'm going to try to head down here because the turret will definitely die otherwise. I'm going to pain to defend the mid turret so we don't have that game destroyed either. Rengar, Rengar just being there is pretty much enough. Because Zed isn't really that strong enough to dive Rengar, I don't think. So Rengar is 0-1 now. He's very much not, you know, useful right now. And it's not really a bash on him, it's just, it can be, it's kind of right, Rengar is exactly, I mean, he's kind of popular, but he's not playing overly amount, so, just because, it, you know, if you don't really get kills early, it can be pretty hard to actually get in the game as an assassin. But, you know, I still haven't played in a while, so I don't really know what assassins are popular right now. 
aside from probably the usual, which is whatever the usual is. Zed. Zed's always been popular. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can just leave now. Heck, I can maybe Roman. I'm way too scared to try to kill Riven. That's probably a terrible idea. But trying to Roman kill Zed might be ideal. You know, you never know. We can probably place a ward around for this dragon here. No one's gone for the dragon yet either, but we have also haven't really had a good opportunity to. Up. 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 Careful, team. I'm, I'm worried for your safety. Oh, he used a shadow. He used a shadow. Go get him. Go get him. Get him. And he flashed. Are we still going? No, 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 no. I don't know if he saw Riven. But I saw Riven, and we are not going in anymore. Alright, that was a bit spooky. As also not very good. Not entirely really sure how they let that happen, considering they knew for a while he was there, but... What are you gonna do? There's the Riven roaming, or potentially roaming. And we have Z Rengar's jungle kind of being invaded there. Pretty sure they got it, oh well. Raptor isn't exactly the most important thing in the world. We're probably just going to have to let the bomb turret die here. Oh, they're getting the dragon as well. Mm, Essence Reaver. I'm trying to... Th uh, obviously, Rumble getting more items will help us a lot. But this is still a very finicky situation. My turret's probably going to go down because they have a large number of individuals here. And, you know, a, a potential, like, Riven W Flash is... Very, very spooky, so... Oh, wait! Nope. I didn't think they were going to back off. Otherwise, it would have gone sooner. Okay. They got Dragon. Is Red Buff still up? Red Buff is still up. I feel like Misfortune could use that better just because Talon doesn't auto a whole lot. Sure, hit most of his damage from his assassination comes from his Q, but... Still don't really want to wanna do that. As for what to build, after Yomu's... Since they're not, gonna, since they're not building much armor, I will probably build... Um, God, I'm trying to remember what I used to build. I mean, it used to be, of course, Last Whisper. Let me let me take a look see here to try to refresh my memory. Damage, Giant Slayer. I don't like giants and I don't like slaying them. Uh, Lord Demix regards. Get champions with greater maximum health than you. There's not really a whole lot of tanks. Physical damage against Greaves. Sterex Greaves. And we'll think of, we'll think about it. Oh yeah, Infinity Edge. That's what I was forgetting. That's the item I always build next, simply because Q crits are so potent, so that's what we're going to do. And I see the individuals over there, but I want to make sure they don't have Vision Me up going over there before I actually do. They have Spooky Ghosts as well. Uh, that's um, probably a caught out Janna. Oh, no, he's going on me. That was unexpected. And that was a brand new ultimate. I thought that he already used it, to be honest with you. Okay, that's an also a thing that's gonna happen. Um, this is very risky of me. There's a lot of things I want to do here. Yeah, Riven. Oh, there's the Flash W. I did not think she was gonna be in range there. This game is quickly starting to look like it will not be successful. I don't really think there's much I can do at this point. That's part of the reason you don't see talent in high play. Like, if your team is just not winning their lanes because you're an assassin and it's really hard to because you talents maybe you assassinate one person and that's it so it's really hard to carry games with him and even that i'm not doing amazing 4-3-2 but most of my deaths have been because you know this has happened and this is still here but you know what what are you gonna do okay what are you gonna do you gotta you gotta look at the bright sides of life even if you don't know what those bright sides are of course, the game is still possible to win, you know, if Rumble gets a really good equalizer. But, at the end of the day, you know, we have two assassins. Misfortune's misfortune. It's just, you know, the, the general stuff. And Rengar did, in case anyone's curious, Rengar did pick after I was already his talent in mid. So, you know, of course, it's it's normal, so you can't really blame people for going like, well, that's a bad team composition, but, but it's a normal game. It's like, yeah, but... That's a bad team composition. That's uh, concerning, but I have Moby Boots, so see you later, nerd. No. When I said see you later, nerd, that, that means you can't catch me. You have a little mace thing there. I'm not sure how I feel about Jarm's Fist. Grand's killing against five max, five maximum health. This mouse acts up to 30 times. 
Well, shucks, you got me there. There's a lot of individuals here. I'm pretty sure this bush I'm in is not warded, but I'm still worried that it might be. Okay, some, something's gonna happen here. <laughs> and I don't know what. I feel like some, okay, yeah, the Bourbon is gonna push the mid lane to the point where it will probably die since I think I'm gonna be the only one here. Yeah, yeah, no one else seems to be trying to help a great deal. I'm definitely gonna have to flash or use my ultimate there. And it will be the death. It will be the death of the turret. I will flash there. And my team is dying by the looks of it. Aw oh, dear. Say it, save me! How was that hitbox? Hitbox, please. Ugh. That was not an amazing game. Well, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, have anything fantastic. Stay up with your and subscribe around the way. Some more for this video than I heard. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.